Hey guys, these videos take a lot of effort to make and I really appreciate all your love and support. If you want to be a Patreon, you can click the link in the description. That would mean a lot to me. And otherwise, let's start. Germany versus Spain. 10 biggest differences. I have visited these two countries more than 10 times each and I have observed some differences between them. Let's have a look between the differences between Germany and Spain. 1. Size Germany is approximately 357,000 square kilometers, while Spain is approximately 505,370 square kilometers, making Spain 42% larger than Germany. Spain presides over more than 60 islands, a mix of virgin nature reserves and honeymoon worthy oases, and most fly completely under the radar. Some 50 islands in the North Sea and Baltic Sea belong to Germany. Nearly all of them slow-paced and pristine nature sanctuaries. 2. Population Spain has 47 million people, while Germany has 84 million people. Almost twice as many as Spain. Germany is the second biggest country in Europe by population after Russia and is also the most populous country wholly located within Europe. Wunderbar. Germany has way more people than Spain within its borders. The life expectancy is slightly higher in Spain than in Germany with 83 years old compared to Germany's 80 years old. Spain has in fact one of the highest life expectancies in the world, where Hong Kong and Japan are in the very top. 3. Culture Spain is famous around the world for flamingo music and dance. Bullfights are in the past now, but Spain is known for fantastic beaches and lots of sunshine. Spanish society deeply values group affiliation to a family, an organization or a community. And Spain has an amazing artistic culture of Pablo Picasso and Salvador Dali. Germany is known for its long and rich history, one that has put it at the forefront of European thought, politics and art for over a thousand years. This history has shaped a culture that combines predominantly Christian values with literature, art, philosophy, logic, reason and of course a love of beer and sausages. The people, language and traditions are what make the German culture unique. Screaming in each other's faces is quite uncommon in Germany, except when someone is very angry. But even that is not too often. Most Germans are angry quietly, where Spanish people are better to get it out in a loud way. On the other side, Germans tend to laugh less, maybe insufficiently. Spanish people laugh more and are more outgoing, but they can definitely laugh in Germany too. Perfect. True, yeah. <laughs> also, one thing I've noticed when I've spoken to some Spanish women is when they are telling a story, they are sometimes touching me several times. I personally like that open attitude, but this is a very uncommon thing in Germany. Touching in Germany is really crossing a line, so if a German woman touches a man who is not already her partner, father or brother, this means quite much. Uh, I like uh, Spain. Remember, these are just my observations from both countries. What do you guys think about the cultural differences between Germany and Spain? Sports and especially football is also very popular in both countries. Spain has the best football team historically in the world, Real Madrid, and Barcelona is in the very top too. While Germany has Bayern Munich, which is by far the best team in Germany with 8 consecutive league titles. But there's still a way up to the Spanish giants in all honesty. Hala Madrid! Two amazing sport nations with two of the best national football teams in the world. 4. Language. ¿Qué país le gusta más? Con Europa, Francia. Bueno, yo al menos no me gusta Alemania. ¿Por qué? Ay, porque los veo muy serios. Y tienen como un idioma más... más sucio. Como itch, nicht. No me agrada. No me gusta. They are both hard languages to speak for foreigners. Ich habe mein Deutsch nur an wenigen Stellen verwendet. German is the main language of approximately 95 to 100 million people in Europe, or 13.3% of all Europeans, being the second most spoken native language in Europe after Russian. There are more than 450 million native speakers of Spanish, making it second only to Chinese in terms of the most spoken languages in the world. In Germany they speak German and in Spain Spanish. It's not that simple. Other official languages spoken in Spain Vamos. include Catalan, Galicia and Basque. Germany also has a lot of different variants. Bayern. 
war eigentlich alles schön. Both countries have plenty of various dialects and accents too. Hola amigo. Hola amigo. ¿Cómo estás? Muy bien. ¿Qué país le gusta más? España. I live in Germany, I like Germany. <laughs> well, neither of Spanish or German are better than the other, but Spanish is definitely more useful as a world traveler. Venezuela! <laughs> Five sites. With as many as 20,000 castles in Germany, tourists have plenty to choose from. And with interesting cities like Berlin, Munich, Cologne, and the lovely harbor city Hamburg, there's plenty to choose from. Good morning from Hamburg. Germany has quite a large amount of stunning tourist attractions all over the country and some beautiful landscapes. Spain is packed with amazing tourist attractions and I'm shocked that I still can get amazed by new beautiful places after more than 10 visits here. It is one of the world's most popular holiday destinations for a reason. The art, the culture, the museums, the monuments, beaches, cities, Fiestas, hikes, cuisine, castles, a unique place with lots of great cities to discover. In general, Spanish people have more of a Mediterranean influence, darker skin tones, darker hair color, similar to the Italians. The Germans on the other hand look to be more associated with white Wider. skin color and their facial features are a bit different from Spaniards. It's not that hard to tell the difference from a German and a Spanish person typically. But again, there are so many different and unique looks and skin colors in both countries. Spanish people tend to be extrovert and friendly, as is typical in Mediterranean culture, and they place modesty and personality foremost to the professional life. Germans are stoic people who strive for perfectionism and precision in all aspects of their lives. They are way more punctual than the Spanish people and also way more introverted. Spanish people are more noisy and can have a super loud conversation in the streets or in public transport, where Germans usually speak in a more silent way. 7. Prices and Infrastructure Spain is cheaper than Germany overall, no doubt about it. But besides that, Germany has a way better infrastructure. Germany is Europe's largest economy. In Germany, wages are higher. How would you rate Flensburg from a 1 to 10? Uh, 8. The welfare would deserve another whole chapter. Ah, uh, German, the big boss. Money, money, is too much money. Maternity schemes. Unemployment benefits. Free high quality education. Reberbahn is very quiet. How does Germany compare to Spain? Higher GDP per capita, 13.5% lower unemployment rate. You are actually around 80% less likely to be unemployed in Germany than in Spain. 35% less public debt. If we look at the economy, there isn't a single perk in which Spain is better than Germany. Germany is focused on efficiency of things much more than Spain. In Germany, it's easy to get a job and make money. Spain is best regarding weather and social life for sure, but unemployment is a bigger problem than in Germany and salaries are much lower than in the north of Europe. Both countries have definitely advantages. Rhythm of life is different and you'll need to adapt to that rhythm in order to feel at home. That being said, Spain as a country is wealthy. Yeah. Yes, salaries may be low compared to Germany, but local prices are low too. Besides, education, medical care and some other services are free. People in need can count on the welfare system. Weather is great, no discussion there. Spaniards usually want to find a job that doesn't give them too much hassle, even if the pay isn't very high. Most Spaniards make around 1000 euros a month, which isn't bad compared to many other countries. Germany has higher salaries, more social security and more job opportunities. And Germany is a much more organized country. 8. Alcohol Germans are the second largest beer consumers in the world after the Czech Republic. Prague! The city where beer is cheaper than water. Germans drink beer on every occasion, whether you're at Oktoberfest or at a funeral. Many Germans usually don't experiment too much with drinks. They usually just drown whatever is next to them, preferably a beer. And in Spain, the famous Spanish drink we all know, sangria, wine and beer. But there are many more that most tourists are not familiar with. And while beer is the most popular drink in Germany, sangria is without a doubt one of the most popular drinks in Spain. Spanish wines are some of the best old world style wines and Spain is the third largest producer of wine in the world. 9. Food 
German cuisine is full of meat, potatoes and bread for sure and it doesn't feature the exotic herbs and spices that people often think of as flavorful. I like the boring food of Germany, the sausages and schnitzel because it's similar to Danish food but I like sauerbraten, bratwurst and all the German specialities. It's always a pleasure. Spanish cuisine consists of the cooking traditions and practices from Spain. Olive oil, of which Spain is the world's largest producer, is heavily used in Spanish cuisine. Paella is perhaps the most famous Spanish dish of all, and certainly one of the most abused. Spanish cuisine is delicious and known for various Spanish dishes. Tapas, Spanish tortilla, gazpacho, jamón ibérico, the list goes on, a very influential gastronomy. 10. Mentality People in Germany are more focused on wealth, the job, individualism and self-enjoyment. Germans usually don't deal with chains and improvisation and they are stubborn and a bit nationalistic. However, they are respectful with others. Hope so. <laughs> Thank you so much. Authority and the law. They value nature and it's relatively easy to live in a house or an apartment with few neighbors. Most want a completely risk-free, predictable, comfortable German life. Work, enjoy, cultivate yourself don't bother others and don't be bothered. People in Spain are focused on family, friends and social life. Career and wealth are important but not as much. The Spanish love improvising, last minute decisions, don't mind accommodating and integrating others and they embrace change, sometimes too much and without an obvious reason. The Spanish love complaining and making democratic decisions and in general they despise politicians, law and don't respect authority much. There are countless foreigners who move to Barcelona as university students to learn Spanish, sadly witnessing that lectures and exams are in Catalan. That's why some Germans would go nuts if they had to live in Spain and the same the other way around. Socially speaking, Spain beats Germany any day. Life in Germany is not as lively, it can be quite depressing during winter and socially it's a bit closed minded. Summertime in Germany is lovely though and the economy is way better than in Spain. I have Spanish friends in Germany and the UK who would never consider moving back to Spain. The system there are simply unbearable to them after experiencing different systems of other countries. Both countries have definitely advantages. How you feel depends not only on where you go to but also on where you come from. Rhythm of life is different and you'll need to adapt to that rhythm in order to feel at home. Two awesome countries. Do you prefer Germany or Spain and why? Please comment below. Remember to subscribe to Gus on the Go.